Ryan, an hour of defeat today. What's your thoughts on the performance? Um, yeah, I thought we had a, a very good game, to be fair. I think, you know, the, the one side of the game that we need to work on um, is, is aerially. So, you know, they, they had a long thrower um, and, and they had the big men from corners. So I think that side of the game we need to improve on. Um, I think it's just down to communication and um, getting set up early. But in terms of how we played, um, I thought we were energetic, we were bright, um, our pass detail was very good and um, you know, we looked threatening throughout the game. I think we just, we just kind of let ourselves down with complacency from you know, what, what their biggest threat is, which is throw-ins and corners and, and things like that. That's how they're picking up points. So I think if we can work on that, then we stand ourselves in very good stead. Obviously, you made your debut, you've come straight into the starting lineup. What was the manager message to you and the rest of the lads before the game? I think <coughs> Gaffer's message was just, you know, believe in ourselves. Um, we are on the right path. Um, you know, we have got a very good team, and, and I, I truly believe that we do have a very good team and a team that can go on and do very well. Um, and, and, you know, he, he just wants us to keep playing the way we're playing and, and trust the process and, you know, we will pick up points and I think everyone in there does believe that and does know that. We just need to, um, you know, become better with, you know, just become complacent and things like that when, when we don't need to be. And um, so, yeah, I think, uh, yeah. <laughs> Obviously, it's frustrating, you know, we've gone ahead twice in the first half and to be pegged back so early on, you know, twice in that first half as well, it's going to be ultimately frustrating given how well we did in that first half. Yeah, no, first off, you know, we were very good. Um, the frustrating thing is we score and they score very soon after. Um, it was, a, it was a, I think the first one was a corner? Yeah. Yeah, so the first one was a corner. Oh, sorry, no, the first one was the first corner first one was the top. A, Okay, my bad. But regardless, um, I think that just comes down again to communication um, and talking to each other. Um, so, yeah, that was very frustrating, but, you know, we responded and we scored again. Um, you know, really good finish um, from the skipper. Um, and I'm buzzing for him really because that's his first goal. So, yeah, I, I think we just need to work on those things and then we will stand ourselves in very good stead. And of course, as we talked about, that corner comes in, Mitch you know, goes to punch it and it's a bit of bad luck, bounce off the post and ultimately it's important for us to get behind him and make sure you know these mistakes don't happen because he's an experienced goalkeeper at this yeah. level. Yeah, no, in the changing room, he's, um, you know, he's put his hands up and said, like, you know, lad, sorry mm -hmm. lads, but this stuff happens. It can happen to an outfield player, it can happen to a goalkeeper. Obviously, there's more... There's more pressure on him and you know there could be more criticism because he's a goalie and if he makes a mistake it can ultimately end up in the back of the net but you know it, it happens um apart from that you know i thought he was really good and obviously all the lads got behind him in the changing room and and um like i said the other day um you know we've got good team morale so you know it, it happens and obviously it's frustrating that it happened but i'm sure that he'll learn from it and and it won't happen again that's the note we spoke about it to assist for you in 90 minutes how are you feeling after that yeah so um yeah, buzzing to get two assists on, 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 from my, on my first game. Um, legs are pretty bad, to be fair. Um, I haven't played too much since I was out for injury, so uh, you know I'm, I'm, I'm glad Gaffer gave me 90 minutes. I um, wasn't sure if I was going to get through, to be honest, and, and I know that I can definitely give a lot more to the game, especially in the second half, but you know, just f with, with limited game time that I've had, my legs just didn't really allow me, so I'm really looking forward to you know having a game Tuesday, game Saturday, uh, you know, etc. and so on. I'm only going to get fitter and, and have more energy, um, you know, to, to just keep attacking and being a menace. So, <laughs> and of course, obviously, you mentioned the game on Tuesday, Weymouth at home. Yeah. Another big game for us back here for you under the lights for the first time. Yeah, yeah, no buzz. And I thought the fans were really, really good today. Um, you know, they got behind us even when we were losing, um, and you know, they, they were kind of the 12th man. So. Um, really looking forward to being under the lights for the first time um, and you know playing a team that's in and around us you know it's a crucial game that we need to win and I feel like we will win um, you know because today we will learn from today and, um, and I'm sure in training well we haven't got many days of training until Tuesday but you know regardless we will learn and I'm sure we'll put right what we did wrong today. Are you in with a shot? Look below for more information. Click here for the next video, click here to subscribe.